Hey everybody, we need a handicapping thoroughbred racing from beautiful Belmont Park, Elmont, New York on Thursday, July the 14th. And this is my Equibase Winter Circle Naira New York Racing Association report. Let's take a look at race three from Belmont this afternoon, folks. 2.04 p.m. Eastern Post Time. Six furlong sprint on the dirt track. Three-year-olds race for a claiming purse of $45,000. Contenders number two, Sensational Slam, number three, Ramataz, number four, Dolly, and number five, Divine Child. Number two, Sensational Slam, qualifies as Trackmaster Plus Power Pony, takes a class drop of seven units. It's both the overall speed and pace profile leader in this claiming field, sprinting at six furlongs on the dirt. It's also a perfect three for three into the circle, racing at today's distance on the dirt. He's turned in a trio of power run performances in his last five starts, including power run wins in both his third and fifth races back. Jockey Javier Castellano and trainer Todd Pletcher sent him to the post. They've whacked the tote board with 53% of their entry saddles as a team to date. The morning line favorite, number three, Ramitaz. Decent early speed abilities to complement for the sprint has turned in power run efforts in four straight, hitting the board in a pair, including a power run win in his fourth race back. Race 3 summary, number 2, Sensational Slam, tops my contenders list, which also includes number 3, Ramitaz, number 4, Dolly, and number 5, Divine Child, 2, 3, 4, 5 in the third from Belmont Park. Bonus long shots, River Downs in Ohio, race 6, the 6 to 1 shot. Number 5, my Dominic James, slightly better speed, racing at or about today's distance of 5.5 furlongs in the dirt, and then the favorite, number 1A, brother Keith, Colonial Downs in Virginia. Race number 3, entry number 5, Little Miss Foxfield. A 20 to 1 bomb drops in class by 6 units. Excellent early speed abilities for today's 5 for a long sprint. So handicapping from Belmont Park on a Thursday afternoon. Rick Deedham for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.